Math 97, Quiz Topics 3. Identifying direct variation from ordered pairs and writing equations. We need to remember that direct variation is represented by the equation y equals kx. That means that y is some constant multiple of x, or um, we say that y is proportional to x, so the ratio of y to x equals some constant k. And so if we want to test if a set of ordered pairs is direct variation, then what we need to do is we need to test each pair and make sure it, it provides the same ratio k. So here are our examples. For each table, determine whether the table shows a direct variation. If it does, write its direct variation equation. So let's look at the first table. Our ordered pairs are 2, 4, 4, 8, and 8, 24. Okay, if we look at the ratio y to x in each one of these cases, we would have 4 over 2, which is 2, 8 over 4, which is 2, and 24 over 8, which is 3. So it looks like this third pair has a different ratio between the y and the x than the first two, and so this is not direct variation because all three of them would have to have the same ratio. Let's look at our second table. We have 2, 5, 5, 12.5, and 7, 17.5. So let's look at the ratio of y to x in each of these pairs. 5 over 2 is the same as 2.5 when we divide it. 12.5 over 5 is also 2.5 when we divide it, and 17.5 over 7 is also 2.5 when we divide it. And so this table is an example of direct variation. And so we're supposed to write the direct variation equation. In other words, the y equals kx with the specific k plugged in. So we notice that our constant of variation, our y to x in each one of these pairs is 2.5. So k equals 2.5. And so our equation then is y equals 2.5x. And if we substituted in each one of these x's, we would get each one of these corresponding y's.